Hey guys, as promised, this is my alignment video. I'm going to show you how I properly align my mirrors on my lasers. Stay tuned. This is a simple trick, and it's going to really speed you up on uh, the aligning your mirrors and understanding how it works. You're going to make, make sure you have uh, white masking tape, or just actually just regular masking tape. We get unrolled here, so you can kind of see just wide inch and a half, two inch uh, white masking tape, the cheap stuff. That's what you want, not the good thick stuff, but the cheap stuff, because you kind of want to be able to see through it. And I'll explain that in a little bit. And you're going to want a fine tip pen. I use a fine tip Sharpie. I couldn't find my red one, but I would normally use a red one because it doesn't blend in so much with the burn. And I'll explain that well uh, down the road here in a second as well. This video is for assuming you have not just changed out your laser tube and you have not adjusted the uh, mounting system for your laser tube. All right, I'm just going to jump right in it. I don't want to bore you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you which mirrors I'm referring to when I say mirrors one, two, and three, because there's three mirrors on a system. I'm going to take you off the tripod. Don't get dizzy. Woo! Okay, the one all the way back here next to the laser tube is your laser one. This is, I'm sorry, that mirror one. This is mirror two. And then the one right over here on top of your actual nozzle is mirror three. Again, like I said, this is not for if you just switch out your laser tube, because if you just switch out your laser tube, laser one is going to be off. But 95% of the time, I said laser one, mirror one is going to be off. Mirror one, 95, 99% of the time is perfectly fine where it is. You don't need to mess with it. So we'll skip over mirror one and we'll jump to mirror two. All right, I got my tripod set in my laser. I make sure I don't move the uh, whole axis around and totally destroy myself. So let's figure out a way to do this. All right, first thing we're going to do is take this masking tape. Take a... My camera just moved. Must have been another ghost. Ah. Vibrations. All right, take about 12 inches or so. You can use scissors to make this all pretty, but we're just going to throw this in the trash, so I don't really care. So I'm going to take about an inch and a half, two inch strip, and I'm just going to start layering this masking tape on top of each other. So I've got three times, four times, five times, six times. Now it doesn't have to be six, that's just what it worked out to be. So we're gonna have a nice thick piece of masking tape like so. Now what we wanna do is cover mirror two with our thick masking tape. Try not to get residue on your mirror because that will be yucky. We're gonna go ahead and move our entire gantry up all the way as far as it goes to, to mirror one. Now I gotta get something to bypass my safeties. You may have to bypass some safeties on your door. I'm gonna keep my door open. That's the way I do it. It's a little dangerous because you have an infrared laser beam jumping around in here. That masking tape actually is strong enough to stop a pulse, but that's it. Leaning way over into my laser here to talk to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse this after we move the gantry all the way up from mirror two to meet mirror one as close as they possibly can go. We're gonna do a pulse. Now you guys should have caught that. Um, I just wanna make sure you're aware of, of your laser strength. This is an 80 watt laser, by the way. So we have, uh, if you pulse, just a real quick tap of pulse, it should go whoosh, and then that light, the flame should shoot up like that. If it does not do that, you have a weak laser tube or a weak power supply, and you're going to need to check into that. But I'm, I'm working on a tutorial for that as well, so please make sure you subscribe so you can see the tutorial on how to check if your laser tube needs to be replaced, power supply, or whatnot. Now we will move our gantry as far away from mirror one to mirror two. We take our fine tip pen and I'm going to create what like a hashtag around this mark. I'm trying not to block you, but I still need to be able to see. Hmm? All right, you see that? This is where I suggest that if we use a red pen over a black pen, you will be able to see better uh, because. The next step, we're actually going to do something else and make this harder to see. I'm going to take a piece of a single piece of masking tape, okay, like so, and we're going to place that 
right over top of what we just drew. Make sure that you don't completely seal it down because you want to be able to move it. So you can, you can fold a corner over like this. Now, take a look, this is sweet. All right, so now we're gonna do another single pulse, just one pulse. And now we can clearly see where the two are lining up. So what this is gonna do is stop us from moving this gantry back and forth, back and forth, back and forth throughout the alignment process. So now all we have to do is this piece of tape, make a minor adjustment, take this front piece of tape off and adjust it, put it back on, then make a minor adjustment so we don't have to move our gantry back and forth. All right, so that is lined up about perfect. I haven't actually touched it, but that from between one and two, I believe is lined up about perfect. Now I'm gonna line up two to three, mirror two to three, and that could be where our problem could be. Remember to take off the taper between changing mirrors. So we'll take off this mirror, and we're gonna take this and move it over to mirror three. We'll take our mirror three, and we'll bring it all the way over to mirror two until it stops. Now, pulse. Beautiful. Now we'll move mirror three all the way, all the way away from mirror two. All right, on a note, you see how nice and round this is? This is exactly how we want our laser tube or our laser beam to come into our, um, our nozzle here. It needs to be round. Now, a mirror two, it's a little oblong. As you can see, I use the same paper here. This is mirror, this was for mirror two, and this one is mirror three, so it's nice and round. You can take this paper and you can kind of feel and make sure it's coming about the center of the hole there. You can make an indent, and you can see if it's center. I, this one is center, so you can kind of see. You don't have to do this part, but this is about Now, let's make our hashtag. Hashtag laser power. I don't know. If you guys got a good idea for a hashtag, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll use it. Okay. You can see, I can still see that hashtag. Okay. Now we'll do a pulse. Oh, look at that. That one's actually a little off. So this, we need to actually come down just a hair. So let's take a look at those adjustments. All right, so your, your mirror two may or may not look like mine, but regardless, it's gonna be about similar here. There'll be a fine thread screw. There's three fine thread screws. Mine are located here, here, and here. Typically, you use your thumb to get it. By adjusting, you have a plate here. And if we tighten up these two screws, you're gonna make that plate go out like this. If you tighten up this screw, you'll make the top right hand corner go in, right? So in order to get this to come straight down, I'm going to equally, very literally, small amount, adjust these two bottom ones out and out. Okay. Okay, so this was our first pulse. Now that's on our way, right? So this is the beauty of not having to move the gantry. We're going to remove this piece of tape, and this remains here with a hashtag. And we'll just adjust, put that piece of tape back over the hashtag here. And now we'll pulse. All right, looks like we came down enough. So now we got to move it towards the right. So let's make those adjustments. Okay. So we're looking at mirror three down here, and we want to bring it to the right, which would be, you know, to the right camera right here. So I'm actually just going to tighten up this bottom left one a hair. That might move it up a hair, but it might move it up where it's enough. It doesn't matter. Let's just move and adjust this one in just a hair. You see, I barely turned it. And let's see where we're at now. Again, the beauty of my system, it's actually not my system, it was given to me from the owner of Rabbit Laser. But it's so good, I'm sharing it with you guys. Just move that piece of tape over, and let's see where we're at. Now pulse. Woo! Guys, that's perfect. Let's take a, look, a closer look. 
exactly what I want to see. So the round, we are dead center on that mark. You can clearly see that the mark on the front paper matches the mark on the back paper. Now there's one more step we can do here, and it's actually a pulse a couple times here, just to see if we got it. And now, we're in that mark as well. Now don't go anywhere yet, because we're not done. <laughs> All right, if you notice, we still have mirror three to adjust, so I hope we didn't jump off yet. My adjustments were minor. So the first thing I'm gonna do on mirror three is I'm gonna check how it's doing coming out of this tube. So I'm gonna just take a piece of tape, and I'm gonna tape it to the bottom of my nozzle. Here, and we're gonna push it up right here. Now keep your hands and fingers out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna pulse it. Went all the way through the tape like it should. <clears throat> okay, we pulled it out this way. You see I use my laser a lot because it's dirty. Does that look center to you? It does not look center to me. So we need to make these adjustments. This tape was on like this. We need to make it so it moves a hair, just a hair to the right. We do that by tightening up these two. Like nothing. Like, I'm talking nothing. There we go. Now we'll put the tape back on. Indicate. Okay, now pulse. Make sure you pay attention to how this tape comes off so you know which way it was on the nozzle. This to me, yeah, I'm out of focus, but that right there is about as perfect as it's going to get on mirror two. Two tries. We were here at alignment. Now that could throw your line. Okay, there's still one more thing to check, so hang on. Uh, that little tiny amount that was out on my laser made it just enough to where my right side was cutting worse than my left side. So as it got closer, three got closer to two, my alignment was better. So it cut better on the left side. As he got further away, my alignment was going out. So on the right side, wasn't cutting as well as it was on the left. This would work as also as an engraving. We normally do uh, laser cutouts at footsubstandpass.com. Actually, this is the sign we're working on right now on the laser. Um, one more test, as I promised, and we'll show it to you right now. I'm going to move my nozzle to something I can ruin. Okay, these are rustic letters on this particular project, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse it right on this uh, U, and we'll take a look and see how it looks. So right now, my we have it focused this way. We have it focused, so you should know how to do that. If you don't, I'm going to have a tutorial coming up that shows you exactly how to do that. So you should subscribe and make sure you get notified. But anyway, so we have the U, and we are aligned. Or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not aligned. Our mirrors are aligned, but we're also in focus. So we're the right uh, distance away from the board. So I'm going to go ahead and do give it a simple pulse. Okay, so this is the bottom of my uh, nozzle here. And ignore my red dot. I think that the red dots are just about pointless. Um, ignore my red dot. It's going to come out down here. I know it's not aligned. I just don't care. So now, pulse. Okay, I'm going to pull this piece out. Oops, it easy. Okay, so I'm going to block the camera with this piece. But you can see that little tiny dot, which if you run a laser engraver, you know what I'm talking about. This little tiny dot right here on this side. And then that little tiny dot there on the other side. So we went all the way through. This is only an eighth inch piece of plywood. Uh, granite, this is an 80 watt laser, so it should have no problem going through eighth inch even if it's out of alignment or focus. However, this is an exterior grade plywood. So if you know anything about plywood and laser cutting, you're gonna know this is extremely hard to cut. I can cut three quarter inch pine better than I can cut this plywood. So keep that in mind. This is actually very hard. For this laser to cut through because it has a weatherproof glue. That way my signs don't fall apart after two days out in the rain. Well that's really it. It's that simple to align your mirrors. I hope you learned how to do that today. 
Thank you for uh, stopping by. God bless. Have a great day.